For centuries, miners have used mercury in artisanal and small-scale mining to separate gold from sediments and ore. Mercury and gold are mixed to form an amalgam which is later burned off in artisanal gold buying and refining shops, commonly referred to as gold shops, to drive off the mercury and produce purer gold. As a result, gold shops are a major source of airborne mercury in cities and towns in gold-producing regions in over 60 countries. Gold shops typically lack technologies to control the mercury that is routinely released by their chimneys, exposing millions of people to dangerously high concentrations of elemental mercury and emitting hundreds of tons of airborne mercury to the environment. This video will introduce a new low-cost and easy-to-build technology developed by the United States Environmental Protection Agency and the U.S. Department of Energy Argonne National Laboratory that can reduce the mercury emissions of gold shops by an average of 80 percent, the Gold Shop Mercury Capture System. Mercury is a highly toxic metal which affects the immune system, alters genetic and enzyme systems, and damages the nervous system, including coordination, learning, memory, and the senses of touch, taste, and sight. Children and pregnant women are the most sensitive to the effects of mercury exposure. Globally, the most common way people are exposed to mercury is by eating fish that are contaminated with mercury. But in communities where mercury-based gold mining is practiced, people are also exposed by inhaling mercury vapor in gold shops, usually from the burning of mercury gold amalgam. In mining areas, miners add liquid mercury to sediments, so that the mercury bonds with small pieces of gold to create amalgams of roughly equal parts gold and mercury. The amalgam is easier to physically separate from the sediments and is collected. Miners then heat the amalgam in the field to boil off the mercury and concentrate the gold fraction. This process releases large amounts of toxic mercury vapor and aerosols, which contaminates air, water, flora, and fauna, and exposes miners to extremely high levels of airborne mercury. What remains is an amalgam that now has between 2 and 30 percent mercury and is ready to be taken to a gold shop in a nearby town or city for sale. It is here, at the gold shop, where the remainder of the mercury in the amalgam is burned off and released into the environment. Amalgams are heated in simple fume hoods with high temperature torches to boil off as much of the remaining mercury as possible before weighing the gold on a scale and paying the miner. Mercury exposure occurs almost immediately, since the fume hoods often have leaks which allow mercury to escape and lack strong exhaust fans to pull away the toxic vapors. Some shops even lack basic exhaust ducts and chimneys, allowing all of the mercury to remain inside the shop, exposing both workers and customers to dangerously high mercury concentrations. Most gold shops lack any control on the mercury escaping their chimneys, so mercury is released directly into the environment. The public health and environmental costs of these mercury releases are high. Because gold shops are usually located on main streets, the mercury released can expose thousands of people a day to levels of mercury that are tens or hundreds of times higher than maximum limits set by the World Health Organization. In this town in Peru, most of the gold shops are located directly across the street from the city's central market, where thousands of people a day mainly women and children, work, eat, and shop. Studies of South American gold shops found the average mercury air concentrations outside gold shops to be up to 20 times higher than the maximum World Health Organization limits for outside air. Studies also found the average mercury concentration of air inside gold shops to be 40 times higher than the maximum limits for industrial settings, and in some cases, as much as 100 times higher. In 2006, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency started the Gold Shop Mercury Reduction Project to develop methods for reducing the amount of mercury emitted by gold shops worldwide. The objective was to adapt proven mercury control methods to a low-cost, low-maintenance design that could handle the tough, real-world conditions of artisanal gold shops in any part of the world. The EPA sent teams of scientists and engineers to gold shops in the Brazilian and Peruvian Amazon to work with local experts to understand how gold is processed in these shops and where the mercury is being released in the production cycle. Engineers at the U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory worked with EPA experts to design the first prototypes of the mercury capture system. After nearly two years of refining and testing prototypes in actual gold shops, 
The final version of the Mercury Capture System was released in 2008. The Goldshop Mercury Capture System, or MCS, is a low-cost, low-maintenance, mercury-controlled device. Easy to construct with resources and labor commonly found in gold mining communities, the MCS is durable, made primarily of steel, and has no filters to dispose or replace. The system costs approximately $500 US dollars to construct and allows for the collection and safe disposal of the captured mercury. The MCS reduces mercury in the airstream using the physical principles of condensation and aerosol impaction, the same principles used in larger industrial-sized systems. When the amalgam is heated in a fume hood, the mercury boils off, turning into a vapor. This vapor quickly begins to cool and condenses into aerosol droplets. The MCS's strong exhaust fan pulls these mercury vapors and aerosols through the exhaust ducts, which connect the fume hood to the body of the system. As the air enters the MCS, it cools and becomes more turbulent, increasing the rate of condensation and forcing aerosol particles to collide and increase in size. The air is then pulled through the stacked layers of baffle plates, which have alternating openings. The mercury aerosols in the air strike and adhere to the baffle plate surfaces, removing them from the airstream. The captured mercury runs off the surface of the baffle plates and pools in the bottom of the system drum, where it can be collected through a small drain. The treated air is then pushed out of the system and exhausted to the chimney. Validation tests of pilot systems installed in gold shops in Brazil showed that with proper installation, the MCS captured an average of 80% of the mercury in the exhaust air. The MCS is simple to build, needing only basic tools and skills commonly available in metal working shops in gold mining towns. For durability and strength, the MCS uses a low cost recycled 55 gallon steel drum as its outer shell. The baffle plates are cut from sheet steel using a power saw and assembled in a stack using common hardware according to precise guidelines. The 50 centimeter exhaust fan and the baffle plate assembly are connected together to the exit cone in a singular modular unit which easily slides into the drum. The drum is then sealed with screws and bolts and is ready for installation. This animation illustrates how the various system components come together. A simple step-by-step -step construction manual was developed with the help of metal workers in Peruvian and Brazilian mining towns so that any competent metal shop can build the MCS in as little as four hours. Installing the MCS is also simple and requires minimal changes in the shop's existing exhaust system. By diverting the airflow in the existing system, the MCS can be installed in a variety of configurations, vertical or horizontal, inside or outside. The only requirement for the MCS to function is a continuous electrical current to drive the exhaust fan during the amalgam heating process. The compact design of the MCS also makes it easy to transport by car, bus, small plane, or even moto taxi. The wide-scale use of the MCS in gold shops can annually prevent thousands of pounds of mercury from becoming airborne and being inhaled by local residents. Preventing these releases can also reduce mercury from being deposited in rivers and lakes, where it can be converted to an organic form of mercury, methylmercury, which accumulates in aquatic food webs and contaminates fish. The concentration of methylmercury in contaminated fish eaten by wildlife and humans can be a million times greater than that of contaminated water. By eating these fish, people living far from the site of gold shops can also be exposed to mercury. The MCS is an important tool to address the difficult and persistent problem of mercury in gold producing regions. It is a practical, cost effective, and quickly implemented means to significantly reduce mercury concentrations in communities that produce or buy gold and reduce the exposure of people and ecosystems to the toxic effects of airborne elemental mercury.